The church celebrates at the start of the year the feast of Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton, the first American-born saint. Mother Seton contributed to the foundation of a solid education in the U.S. when she started establishing the first parochial schools in America 200 years ago. In fact, Mother Seton's life coincides with the birth of the United States and the rise of the Catholic Church in America. She was born August 28, 1773, a year before the battles of Lexington and Concord. She hailed from a prominent, well-to-do Anglican family in New York. At the age of 19, Elizabeth married William Seaton, a handsome, wealthy businessman. They had five children, three girls, and two boys, and enjoyed a life of comfort and privilege. After eight years of marriage, William's business went bankrupt. He contracted tuberculosis and died in Italy. In Europe, the 30-year-old widow was specially impressed by her benefactor's Catholic faith. Upon returning to New York, she sought out the priest of St. Peter's in Barclay Street and asked to convert to Catholicism. She was baptized in 1805 in spite of the disapproval of her friends and family. It is said that the true presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and the reverence Catholics show during Mass convinced her to be converted. As a widow, she developed a deep devotion to the Blessed Mother and firmly believed in the doctrine of apostolic succession. She struggled to support herself and her children until Bishop John Carroll invited her to open a Catholic school in Baltimore. She devoted herself to teaching children. Her burning desire to be active in serving the poor made her found the Sisters of Charity in Emmitsburg, Maryland in 1809. Mother Seton died on January 4, 1821, but her legacy lives on in American society with the parochial school system she founded. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's congregation passed the faith from generation to generation, and her schools served as the seedbed for countless vocations to the priesthood and the religious life. In the history of the Catholic Church in America, Mother Seton is the indispensable woman. Her teaching order offered a new model for the religious life when she encouraged her sisters to be in the world, but not of the world. Indeed, Mother Seton's life is confirmation of the teaching that when God closes the door, He somehow opens the window. Finally, Mother Seton's spirituality may be summarized as complete abandonment to the will of God and ardent love for the Blessed Sacrament. Her feast day is celebrated every 4th of January. Saint Elizabeth Ann Seton, pray for us.